Today I'm visiting a Colombian restaurant with delicious authentic eats like a larger than life patacone as well as some delicious sweet treats. These ingredients come directly from Colombia as well so I'm excited about that so let's go inside and make an order. So the history of the restaurant it, it starts with my mother. She was an immigrant woman from Colombia. She came here alone as a refugee, right? She didn't speak the language, she didn't know anybody here. She lived in shelters and she was just so determined and such a warrior that she waited four years for us to come here and she was able to get us here with like a residence. She came across the idea of selling cholados. In the beginning we made friends with some people that work in the festivals and they allowed us to be in a little spot in their food truck. Didn't even have a card or anything, so we would just transport everything in the TTC, all the fruits, all the ice and everything. But we made it work somehow. She didn't have that fear, you know, like, as long as I do it with love, I'll, it will be good. She just created everything that you guys see here, like, with such a determination. But sadly, we, we lost her to cancer a year ago, and then the pandemic hit. So it, it's been a really tough year for us. But she left such an example that we just try to continue to do what she was doing. Here they're of course known for their delicious empanadas. There are five different flavors, chicken, beef, cheese, Hawaiian, similar to the Hawaiian pizza, and you can also get a vegetarian option, which is steamed lentils. Their empanadas here are actually gluten-free completely. It's made with a corn base, and so are their arepas. The arepas here are different than you would get Venezuelan arepas. The Colombian ones are stuffed with cheese, and then all the toppings are on top. One of the products that we have here is the patacón, which is the most famous one. It's fried plantain, but it's really big and really thin. We use a machine that my dad created, so it's not so easy to make like here because back home it's made in another traditional way where like people will step on them. Of course, we don't do that here. We also have the chulado, which is shaved ice with blackberry syrup. We have the passion fruit, the soursop, we have banana, it has uh, pineapple, it has condensed milk, milo, and kiwi. Just like think like, what would my mother do? And that's what just kept us focused and keep going and keep the business, you know? And the main thing, everything we love because she was like, you see the wall over there? It says love in different languages because that was just her thing, like love, love, love. and. That's what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm.